bridge market. Well, um, we got a great show starting. And before we jump into that show, we do have to talk about the elephant in the room, right? The elephant in the room in the mortgage world, part of real estate is access to funds and, and what funds are doing, right? So mortgage rates in the past month and a half since we had our last show um, have jumped up. When we record the show, today is the 5th of April, right? So um, we're talking, by the time this gets out there and, and when people filter through it, they may see it. Right now, they may see it 10, 10 years down the road, who knows? Um, but long story short, rates have gone up dramatically. And what I mean by dramatically, that they've really risen of over one point in rate, almost one and a quarter points in rate in the last month. And so there's lots Wait, of questions flying it's, around. Because, yeah, that's a major jump. It may that's be the jump. jump in that amount of period since we've been tracking interest rates. Yeah. So it's, it's quite a large deal. We went rate from the mid threes to the high fours in the matter of less than a month. Yeah. Right. And so we're, we want to go out there and kind of let you guys know there's a lot of negative press. There's a lot of uh, recession talk. There's a lot of feds going to continue to increase interest rates and what that means for home buying, what that means for home ownership, what that means for your mortgage down the road. Yeah. And, and long story short is the, the interest rate environment is like anything else. It ebbs and flows. It comes in and out. Uh, just like the tide, right? So right now we've experienced, we're coming off the tail end of historic interest rates for the better part of 24 months, uninterrupted. We continue down, 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 down to the trough. And now we've spiked back up and we've gotten back to a normalized interest rate level, in my opinion. Um, the, the thing going into this next quarter into Q3 of 2022, I know we're just starting Q2 of 2022, but as we get into Q3 and what the Fed is trying to do, they're trying to slow down the economy, right? They're trying to slow down the economy by increasing interest rates. So as we go through a slowing down economy, that brings on big R, brings on the recession. The cool part about this for you guys, I know it doesn't sound cool right now, but recessionary times are good for interest rates and they're actually good for home values. So uh, just know that we're in the turbulent time right now but th there will be better days. Uh, we're forecasting with who we listen to and who we talk with as far as our economists that we follow. Um, we're really looking in, in the beginning of 23 that things are gonna get um, pretty decent in the mortgage world. So right now, uh, amazing times on the home buying front. We forget that yes, interest rates are up, but home values and home valuations are going up at historic rates too. So yeah. though the interest rate may be a little higher, you're still you're still coming out ahead when we look at and take into account things like appreciation and paying down those principal balances of your mortgages as you pay those monthly payments in connection with like in comparison to paying rent. So yeah, it sounds all scary right now that rates have come up, but it's actually still a really great time to buy. Yes, and I would just add, even though the rates have gone up, there's still to me, you called it a normalized rate environment. Mm -hmm. I would say they're still very low, um, still, historically. Still low. They're very low. And we were just running some numbers this morning, Keith and I were. If you were to buy, I think the example was a $500,000 house mm -hmm. and your rate was 5% and the home appreciates like it has the last two years, you'll be up, maybe it was a million dollar house. I don't, it was a million was a dollar house, house, yeah. You would make $250,000 and at a 25 percent appreciation rate yeah and then we do believe rates will drop again at some point fairly soon and then you could refi out of it so don't lose the opportunity we don't believe you should be losing the opportunity now to build a purchase if things start to slow down a little bit and slowing down means days on market goes from two weeks to i don't know two and a half weeks so it's not much of a slowdown but take those extra three days and go find that house <laughs> Absolutely. And, and that is a really interesting point. You know, a stabilized market, guys, is anywhere between three and six months worth of inventory. We're still less than a month worth of inventory. So just please don't be fooled by those headlines that are going to start coming out as we get into the buying season that, oh my gosh, inventory blows up to one and a half months worth of inventory. That is still a seller's market. That is still a tourist market. So 
Don't don't be fooled by those headlines that are trying to shock and awe you because they need to sell their advertising dollars. Just know that stay the course, time in the market, and, and making it happen is really the best way to approach it. And what I mean by making it happen, sit down with a licensed mortgage professional, sit down with a licensed real estate professional and understand what's really going in the market as opposed to a drive-by headline. So.